Wasabi Operation iDroid here and in this video I will be reviewing and showing you how to get the recently released Android application DSOID. As you can see there is the application. Now to get DSOID we're going to go into the Google Play Store. From there we're going to click on the search tab and search DSOID. So it's D S O I D and there's an option to click the application so go ahead and do that. DSOID is $1.99 and was developed and made by Xingping He. It's compatible with Android software 2.3 and up. Now there is a downside to this application. It is still in its beta stages right now. It can run games but without sound. It also does not feature save states and does not run some games at full speed. Yet, the good part is that it features touch screen capabilities. So like the DS's bottom screen, it's made for the touch commands. You can still enable them with this emulator, which is pretty awesome. Anyways, the developer has been releasing updates often, slowly making the DSOID application as good as it can possibly be. Some things that are going to be in the updates to come are save states, sounds and the DS's microphone feature which I'm looking forward to. Anyways, buying the application for $1.99 shows the developer that the emulation community supports him and gives him the proper tools to keep developing the application. So as updates roll out, I will be making videos on each update explaining what has been added or changed. So please subscribe so that you can be notified when I release those videos. Anyways, go ahead and install the application and go home. Open your Android device's native browser and go into the URL and search coolrom.com. C O O L R O M.com. And when you get to the page, we are going to click on the emulators option. Scroll down to the Nintendo DS, click on that. This will take us to the Cool ROMs massive directory of Nintendo DS ROMs. And they have them set up all very nicely with top 25 downloaded, top 25 rated, and browse by letter. So you can search for the game you want by any of these methods. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to be getting Pokemon Diamond, which happens to be the most downloaded DS ROM on this website. So I'm going to click on it, and then when you get to the next page, I missed Pokemon Diamond. Wow, let me go back. <laughs> I clicked the wrong one. I actually like Pearl. I played Pearl first before Diamond. But this time I think I'm going to play Diamond. So from here I'm going to click on Pokemon Diamond. And when it loads the next page, which is set up very nicely here with two screenshots, the file name, file size, rating, preview, gameplay, and a ton of nice stuff. But we're going to scroll down and click download now. This is going to download the ROM for us. So as you can see at the top, the download has started. And it should not take too long, and I'll be back when it's done. Now the download is done, so we should have the download complete and DSOID installed. So let's open the DSOID application. And you search for your ROM in the directory it was downloaded to. So if you did it as I did, the ROM should be under download. So click that, then the .zip, .zip file. It will extract the file, usually takes one minute, and you will have a .nds file. That's the one you want to use to play. So I already have my .nds file, so I'm going to cancel the extract and click the file to show you guys the game in action. DSOID runs Pokemon Diamond at 60% speed, so it's going to lag a little bit, but not a lot. It's still completely playable. So as you can hear, there isn't any sound, as I mentioned earlier, and you need to save in-game to save the game. There is no save state options. Anyways, from what I've seen, the, the DSOID application runs better on newer devices. So for example, the Nexus 7 runs this DSOID application and the ROMs very well. But there are other games that run even better, like games that don't have much memory or space and they're very simple to use, unlike Pokemon Diamond. And as you can see here, this is my saved file in the actual Pokemon Diamond game. Operation iDroid. So I'm going to click A to load the file and begin with the showcase of Pokemon Diamond. Okay, 
So here I am about to choose my Pokemon. I loaded my saved file and then I just started recording at this point. So from here as you can see I'm picking my starter Pokemon between Piplup, Turtwig and Chimchar. Well I chose Turtwig. Anyways, as you can see here the game is not running at full speed. So as the battle initiates you can see that it is a little slow. In my opinion, I think that this is running at about 60%. So, as you can see, the animations are running slow. And here we go, initiating the first battle, and I can go over the controls. So, as you can see, all the controls needed in a Nintendo DS are on this emulator. The L buttons at the top left corner, the R buttons at the top right corner, directional buttons are at the bottom left, and the A, B, Y, X buttons are at the bottom right. And we also have the start and the select button at the bottom. So you can use these to control the Nintendo DS. Now, at the top I can click the middle touch button and then I can use the touch capabilities to use the emulator. So as you can see I just commanded Turtwork to use Tackle by using the touch commands. So that's something I really like about this emulator and is pretty awesome. And I really think that this emulator has room to grow the developer is very devoted to this work as he is constantly bringing out updates as I said and I really look forward to most of his updates so guys this was just some things me um, showcasing you the emulator with Pokemon Diamond anyways there are some ways to speed up the performance of this game Pokemon Diamond if you are willing to do it so right now I'm going to show you some things that I do to make this game run a little faster Now, when playing Pokemon Diamond, you can click X and go into the options menu and turn the text speed to fast. Doing this speeds up the text, therefore speeding up the time of the emulator and you can get through long conversations faster. Anyways, you can also change the battle scenes to off and this will change the battle animations and will not show them. So if I tell my Turtwig to tackle, it will just show when I hit and not my actual Turtwig tackling. Anyways, when you do that, you can just confirm, and that's it. Also, when you're like 5 minutes into the game, you get the running shoes, and using the running shoes makes you run faster and go through the game quicker. Anyways, guys, if you like this video or like to see more, click that subscribe button at the top left, and as always, have fun with your emulators.